This is about, I call it the audit page. Um, here's the problem in most of your businesses. When somebody calls you up, one of the first things they ask you is, how much do you charge? Who gets that all the time is one of the very first questions. You get it all the time, Hal, I know you do. Do you? <laughs> I bet you do. Matt, the... Will you take a discount on how much you charge? Tell me the questions they ask you, Darlie, and I want to hear something more specific. What do you mean, take a discount on what? Like, Commission. People ask you that? Oh, Welcome to Utah. <laughs> do you give discounts? No. Why not? I've been in the business 30 years, I think I'm worth. But it isn't that I'm worth so much, it's that I don't give the full percentage. I give some to my company, I give some for Arizona Commission's insurance, and some here. So by the time I get it, there's a lot of discount. Yeah. But I usually say to the people, uh, I'm sure that uh, you'd feel bad if your your company discounted your check because you have bills to pay the same as I do. Very good answer. See, by the time you're done saying that, that is wonderful. I have too many of my clients that put in their ads, please call us for a free quote. What is wrong with saying that in the ad? You get it all the time. You probably do. Do you? Yeah. I don't even know what that means. What do you do? We give quotes anyway. I mean, I don't know what. Ask him. But that's a. No. A no. free quote is a free. He just caught me. He just caught me. A free quote is for them is different than a free consultation. Mm -hmm. And there, I'd call them for a free quote because you want to know. If I can charge for quotes, I'll bring that up. Yeah. Let's get, a, let's get rid of the free word for just a minute. We all give quotes. You know, people ask, hey, how much does it cost? Or how much are you going to charge? Or, or what it's going to be like that. Utah is notorious for this. And I'm glad you spoke first, Darlene. I did not know people would dare ask a real estate professional for a discount on their commission. There was a billboard in Draper said, we'll list your house for 2%. You better go with See, part of, part of, I'm going to go back to the beginning of our class today. It's right near that RV place in Draper, northbound on I-15. Part of your consumer report is to address that, why you don't want to pay 2% to have you home listed. And I know you could come up with the reasons. I'm trying to talk right now about changing your mindset when it comes to money and stuff like that. I, I know that if, if I was going to email one of you and say, hey, how much do you charge? You probably would just say how much you charge. But one of the approaches that I've worked, especially when selling a professional service, look at you, Garrett, because this is perfect for you. You know, what do you charge? Well, 2% uh, of your, net, you know, whatever the, the number is. Irrelevant. What you want to do is this is a technique that I've, I've used, and it works really well. And I always say, listen, I, I can give you a price for anything. You know, it, it could be this or it could be this. But I prefer to know more about you to help you figure out what the best thing is that you should be getting from me, if anything at all. And I said, do you mind if I give you what I call an audit? I, I gave it to Russell, and he filled it out and sent it back to me. And I know his situation now. There's like 26 questions on there. And I could do it face to face, or I could do it over the phone. Have I told you to buy the book yet? By the way, we're going to be done. Then I want to talk about you. Have I told you to buy the book, Spin Selling? Good. <laughs> If I repeat myself, it's because these books affect my life. The one thing I learned about the book called Spin Selling by Neil Rackham is that the book talks about how to ask the proper questions. Price is the last thing in consummating the deal in my particular, in my opinion. We know that it's going to cost money. We all know that it's got to be cost money. This is what a carpet cleaner does. Look on page 60. This is, this carpet cleaner, whenever he goes out and he, people said, how much does it cost to clean your room? Do you think he knows the answer? I, I, of course he does. He's, he's done hundreds of carpets throughout the years. He knows exactly what to answer, but he says, listen, I'm not going to give you a price over the phone, but I'm going to come out and give you a free audit. And he also has an offer, which I didn't put on here. He says, I'm even going to clean one room for free. And if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. What he does is he sits down with them and he says, what do you need cleaned? It's kind of small. What's the age of the carpet? What's the color? What's, the, what's it made out of? What's the condition of the carpet? You know, and boom, 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 boom. It's totally focused on um, the carpets. What do you see as the benefit of a carpet cleaner doing this kind of thing, of doing an audit? What, what, what does it make the carpet cleaner appear like? An expert. An expert. 
in this particular, how many times do carpet cleaners say, yeah, it's $29 for the first room and then $39 for the second, then $19 thereafter. What this does is is making them a professional. And anybody that is in the professional business can use this particular uh, technique. What is another good thing about an audit? What is the format of an audit? This is kind of a bad question. Do you, do you notice the little device at the end of each sentence? It's a question. And he who asks the questions is in control of the conversation. Remember, they're going through your process of, of doing it. Again, I apologize if I ask you if you've heard these stories before, but they're such wonderful stories. The last time did I tell you about Maverick? Does that ring a bell? Oh, good. I can tell a new story right now. They just come to mind because they're such wonderful stories. The movie Maverick, who has seen it with Mel Gibson? Wonderful movie. Again, go see it, okay, for the young people in the room. <laughs> okay, you have seen it. You have seen it. But that's not the scene I'm going to talk about. Um, it's about a, um, a gambling person who comes into town and um, he goes into a casino and there's a round table of people there playing poker. And he says, may I join this game? And they said, no, the game is full. We, do, we don't want you to join the game. And he said, listen, for the first hour I will... Does anybody remember what he does? He's going to lose. And what he's doing is he's learning their signs during that first hour. And this is one of the purposes of an audit. After the first hour, he starts to gamble and he starts to win. And why does he win? He's been watching them and paying attention. I love the audit approach. I love to take the approach of talking to somebody and finding out about their situation. And I always put a caveat at the beginning of the audit, uh, of the audit and the phrasing is very simple. I said, listen, I may or may not be able to help you. I may or may not be your right guy. And the only way for me to do it is for me to ask you questions. So can I play doctor on you? And they laugh, right, because it's a funny thing. I'm the doctor and you're my patient. And what happens is when you ask the questions, it shows that you're in charge. It shows that you're a professional. And at the end of the audit, some of the times they'll say, listen, I can't help you. There's nothing I can do to help you today. So the first question you want to ask when starting the audit is this. May I have permission to ask you questions? Can I ask you questions? If they say no, are you going to continue on with the relationship? Some of us will, but I wouldn't because they're going to be a pain in the neck client. If, they can't, if you can't ask them questions, how can you help them? It works on any one of your businesses. I use this between their and eventually giving them a price. It works every time.